Change isn't necessarily easy, but it is entirely possible. Our brains have a quality called neuroplasticity, which basically means that we are able to create new pathways of learning. We are able to develop new ways of thinking and we are able to structure new habits, new ways of living into our life. However, that being said, our brains can be pretty lazy at times. So it takes a bit of understanding in order for us to undertake the process that change involves. People tend to place a lot of emphasis on motivation and this is only one aspect of the actual journey. Also people have a tendency to assume that change can occur in something like 21 days whereas neuroscience is actually showing that it takes about 90 days of being consistent with a new habit that you're trying to instill into your life before it actually takes hold. It's important to psychologically prepare yourself for whatever change it is that you're looking to implement, whether it be changing the way that you respond to the world, changing a behavior, introducing a behavior, or trying to deduct a behavior from your life, or even just trying to adjust the way in which you think. So you need to first of all plan what it is that you need to do. You need to understand the consequences of this change. You also need to recognize that there are going to be setbacks, there are are going to be failures you're not always going to feel motivated you're not always going to feel like doing what it actually takes and being very compassionate in this and trying to come up with ways that you can overcome some of the potential obstacles that you're going to meet it's also really important that you're sure this is the change that's right for you I mean oftentimes we implement changes based on what other people are doing as opposed to what is aligned with our own values what is congruent with the person's that we want to be and what it is that we'll actually benefit from. It's then so important to prepare your environment and to prepare your life so that it accommodates the change that you're trying to implement. I mean, frequently we underestimate how effective it can be to actually put obstacles in the way of a behavior that we want to refrain from or to really make a behavior that we're trying to introduce so simple that we quite literally trip over it. So it's just about putting cues in your environment, making your environment environment hospitable to what it is that you're looking to do and just recognizing ways in which you can promote the chances of implementing this change on a daily basis. You then get to the actual work part. This is where you learn what it is that you actually need to do and you start putting it into practice. Now, this can initially be quite a nice phase because you're starting something exciting, something new. You feel enthusiastic, you feel motivated and consequently, it may come easily at first. And that's not necessarily the case, but, you know, generally at the beginning of the implementation of change, we have more enthusiasm. We are more eager. We have more uh, self-confidence and assurance about what it is that we're looking to achieve and it's only as time goes on that we begin to fatigue that we begin to doubt ourselves and I suppose that's when we move on to the next level And that's where perseverance and persistence comes in. I mean, frequently, as I said, we tend to assume that we're going to be motivated all the time. We're not. You know, the more we recognize that there are a lot of times when we're going to feel like doing very little or when we feel like reverting back to old ways of thinking or doing or being, uh, the more likely we are to be compassionate and understanding with ourselves. And this makes it easier for us to get back on track. It's also recognizing that all of the motivational talk, all of the aspirational quotes or the affirmations in the world will not help you at this stage. You need to have integrated the skills necessary to do what it is that you're trying to do in order to continue on with and maintain change in your life. The more you consistently do something, the better you get at it. So it's about reminding yourself that it's okay not to feel like doing something, but to make an attempt at it anyway. Keep things small. Try not to overwhelm yourself. I mean, even if you only do a quarter of what it is that you anticipated doing, you're still doing something more than nothing. And that can have a really great impact on your sense of achievement and on your motivation levels. So sometimes you have to nearly do something in order to experience motivation as opposed to waiting for motivation in order to do something get going. 
If you would like assistance in changing any aspect of your life, get in touch with me on the website. It is fundamentals.ie.